Hello guys, this is Lina's Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. I'm in this beautiful park today. I'm going to activate it for the first time. So I'm gonna be some pileups, hopefully. Uh, and my second goal today is to test my new linked dipole antenna. It's a 40, 30, 20 and 17 meter bands antenna. The whole point in testing is the RG174 cable which feeding this dipole it's very thin 2.8 millimeters only cable uh, 50 ohms and there is so many talks and debates in different groups whether this cable is suitable for hf you know antennas uh, can it stand up to 100 watts of power uh, isn't it too lossy maybe it's not gonna work uh, good for the reception all these questions are gonna be answered today while me activating the spark using this fantastic tiny antenna it only weighs 350 grams so that's that's very compact antenna stay tuned all right i'm gonna mount my linked dipole antenna onto this sota beams nine actually meter uh, tall mast which fixed to the improvised drive on mast holder each time i want to change the bands of course i will need to lower it down but well that's that's the part of the business i designed a special dipole center holder which holds the rf choke one-to-one -one rf choke and also su suited you know to mount on the mast so it just slides on the dipole center holder slides on the section of the mast and it stays so it's probably something like 60 cents left on, on until the top which is which is okay you know it's gonna be sturdy and not gonna bend or flip or whatever that's how the antenna erected looks like on this eight nine meter tall mast mast is a little bit bended but well anyway everything set up swr with this antenna pretty nice on 40 meter band 1.5 to 1 While calling CQ, I noticed no RF feedback on the radio side, which was a proof the one-to-one -one ballon at the antenna side, wound of the same RG174 cable, was doing a great job. After operating some 25 minutes, I've done 30 contacts on 40 meter band in CW mode. And well, my antenna and antenna cable uh, RG174 showed no signs of, you know, malfunctioning at all. SWR was stable, like 1.5 to 1 as it was in the beginning. So it, it, it's kept being the same all the time. Uh, the cable itself, you know, was not even, even when transmitting, was not being even warm on touch. So I don't know what to say bad about this cable. It just, it just works, you know, it just works and works and works. And as to the 
attenuation of signal or the 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 loss or this you know famous loss of rg174 it doesn't matter actually theoretically the loss of the of, the, of this cable rg174 is around 9 dBs per 30 meter or per 100 feet uh, accordingly to different uh, to different sources to different manufacturers could be maybe a 10 dBs 9 dBs but so I'm only running 10 meters of it so my loss actual loss could be around uh, 0 0.9 dBs maybe 1 dB Per, per 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 whole set of, of of the cable I'm using, so I'm running, and I'm running as I said, you know, 10 meters of cable. So even one dB, it's nothing. I'm transmitting 75 watts of output at the moment. So so let's do some math and get an answer to a question. What does it actually mean one decibel down in terms of power loss? Using formula and RF tools calculator by Marcus Roskosch Delta Lima 8 Mic Radio Echo, I convert my 75 watts output into a decibel milliwatt value or dBm, subtract then 1 decibel and convert it back into RF watts value, which reads it's about 60 watts left. It means I'm losing around 15 watts of power. Equally, it is about 2 watts lost at 10 watts of output power and some 1 watt lost if you transmit QRP at some 5 watts of output power. You decide if it's okay with you. It's definitely fine with me. As it comes to the reception, 1 dB of attenuation, it means nothing. Uh, it's plenty of gain in, in my transceiver FT891 and normally, you know, when you run on 40 meters or, or even on 20 meters, uh, normally you need attenuation like, you know, to, to reduce the noise. By the means of this cable, I'm getting just, you know, 1 dB already pre-built attenuation. So my noise level just simply is, is down. So I see nothing wrong and or nothing bad to say about this cable i'm on 17 meter band here going to have in a second a transatlantic qso despite this 1 db or so of loss All right, Kilo Golf 8 Papa just made, gave me 539, very good. The US stations uh, opening uh, opening very nicely for, for the last half an hour in this early afternoon local time here. So I've made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 American stations and few European stations. Never made so many DX stations. Uh, on activating a park with this dipole antenna so uh, with any antenna actually all right so here's my happy setup of today my good trusty go box with my ft891 uh, antenna tuner cgj100 was not necessary today because i've connected my link dipole straight straight to the radio you see with this RG174 cable, so my Bamatech TP3 pedal, so and uh, my BioNO 20 amp hours battery. I only used up 11 amp hours of it, so a little bit more than half of the battery. So half of it is still. You now I could activate another park probably, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's finished for this park. All right, guys, summing up and taking down the antenna. So the antenna, my link dipole, proved to be working very, very nicely. So, and the RG174 cable proved to be quite reliable and quite okay. 
it's very lightweight you know very convenient to carry cable and uh, I think it's uh, it's pretty pretty usable in the situations when you have you know and when you need a portable antenna when you use a short piece of this cable then all these uh, losses which are typical for this type of cable actually don't matter it's lossy but this loss is negligible compared to benefits you get it's actually the most lightweight cable i ever i ever tried to use with the antenna so this cable it does not uh, bend uh, the, the mast uh, under its weight, which is, you know, the case with many, with many other uh, thicker, bigger and probably much better cables when it comes to the losses or something like that. But as I said, for the short pieces of cables from like, you know, 5 to 10 meters, uh, this loss factor it, it doesn't matter it's it, it's unimportant at all the whole antenna only weighs in some 350 grams uh, this dipole is a full dipole on 40 30 20 and 17 meter bands four bands four bands are covered you know fully and you can see one american station uh, kd1ct uh, called me on 30 meter band uh, then the same station called me on 20 meter band uh, and then I've done another five or six American stations on 17 meter band so with this with this uh, dipole American stations heard me and all of them gave me 559 or 539 to 559 which is fair report I would say let me know in the comment section what do you think about uh, use, using the RG174 cable. Maybe you use it, maybe you not. So please leave uh, your comments in the comment section. As it is now, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and have a nice activations. Thanks for watching again. See you in my next video. 73, this is Linas, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. Cheerio!